I know it's alright, you're one of a kind, I'll leave you behind And all through the night, when we're running blind Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another segment of my what I'm liking and not so much. And also I do have a special guest with me who's gonna collab. So if you guys would like to see who is joining me this week and also my likes and maybe not likes, keep on watching. Okay, I first of all hope the lighting is going to be okay here because it's pretty windy outside where you can pretty much almost feel winter's right around the corner right now. That's what I feel like. I feel like we've kind of had a fall weather type, but then it was really nice. We were like in the 70s somewhere like mid 70s and it was like people wearing their flip flops and shorts and then just within the last couple of days it's like boom you know like the uh, some places did get hit with uh some snow which we have flurries and stuff it's pretty windy out there and the clouds keep covering up and yeah so who's joining me today is stephanie vanderwag i have known her for a while now along with her mom her mom's uh, Marlene Fabiglab over 50, which she has done several different uh, collabs with me and everything Marlene has. And we've just we've become pretty good friends, like email, um, just, you know, just different things, communicate in that way. Um, anyway, Stephanie, that is uh, Marlene's daughter, and she's just as gorgeous as her mom. Her, She is a beautiful, beautiful girl, but she, she does work along with skincare, and I really like to watch those videos just as much as I do love to watch about, you know, makeup and everything. But she's just a very beautiful young lady, and I just really enjoy watching her. So I'll have a link down below to her video that she's going to have sharing of her, what she's liking, and maybe a not so much. I'll have that down below so you guys can go and check that out. Please go and show her some love. Maybe subscribe if you like. Give her some thumbs up and everything. So yeah, be very much appreciated. All right, let's get into uh, my goodies. And really honestly, this week I don't really have anything here that is not considered a not so much. Pretty much everything here I have is products that I like. So the first one being, which I can't get this little bit out. I might have to figure out how to get it out because I'm pretty much done, almost done with it really. And it's the Valentia Royal Rose Hydrating Serum. Um, you guys probably see me show several different products from this company. They had sent me different items to try out and, you know, like work with and everything. And it has a rose scent to it. You can smell the rose scent. This is a really nice serum. It lasted me a long time. I mostly used it at nighttime, so I really liked this. I keep telling people, uh, if you get a chance, check out Valentia. I feel like they're a pretty good company out there. It's like natural, organic, and um, cruelty-free, and uh, pretty reasonably priced for some of their stuff. A product that I did, these couple here I've shared as well on a likes and not likes video. I just wanted to bring them back up because I feel like they're worth mentioning and it was this one here is the Equate brand compared to Burt's Bees Radiance uh, Facial Cleanser with Royal Jelly, Jojoba Beads, and Fruit Acids. It removes oil, dirt, and makeup. I think you guys might have seen me share this in one of my videos of likes and not likes and I said the scent was kind of a little try you know I was trying to a little bit with the scent because it wasn't something I was really finding, you know, appealing, but I kind of got over that. And like, I don't know what the original one is like, the Burt's Bees one. I probably will get this, get it when I'm done with this one here. But this one here from the Equate brand, oh my goodness, it it removes my makeup. It clean, I could, I could, it cleans my skin. It does give it a nice uh, radiance to it. It looks nice and healthy. I really like this. You can feel the hoba beads just finely, finely, just very, very little. It, it removes the makeup great. I mean, I still do with any cleanser. I think it's just a habit to make sure everything is removed. I still do take like an eye makeup remover just to be sure that that stuff's all removed and uh, the micellar water kind of stuff. That's what I'll do second after this. 
Susie on here. Her channel was called, it was glitzy, it's not glitzy fritzy, but it was glitzy something, and now I can't even think of it, but her name is Susie, and she changed her name to Susie Q. I'll put a link down below to uh, anybody that I mentioned. She had asked me where, um, where I'd found this at in Walmart, because I did find this product in Walmart, and it's from the Advanced Clinicals. It says for salon professionals, it's a spa size retinol advanced firming cream. It has green tea, aloe vera, and chamomile, chamomile in it. And it comes in this big tub. The only thing I had a beef with is my pump didn't work. So, but thank goodness I can twist this off and all the products in there. I just, that's how I've been doing it. I'll go in there and I'm going to actually put some on my hands. But it's, it's a very nice light um, moisturizer and I'm just gonna tell you guys since I've been using that I I use it a lot at night sometimes I'll use it during the daytime but I've been using it more at night time um, after I put on my serums for me I just feel like it's done a huge change in my skin and there's several other like I said just all the products I've been using lately just have worked really great and I feel like my skin has looked the best in a long time so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into makeup so some of the makeup items I've been using lately um, one is a brow product I haven't really gotten into many brow products in a drugstore and I do want to get a couple or try some the brow products that I was mostly always used to was from Mally Beauty which surprise, huh? And this one here is her Mally Brow Beauty Brow Beauty Brow Fix. Comes in a two like a pencil like thing like this, and it's only in taupe, like universal taupe is what it's called. And it it does depend on how you can put it on very lightly and just have a light uh, coloring to you. It, it's like a wax, like a wax powder, right here. And then speaking of Mally, oh my goodness, I only used it like maybe once or twice when I first got the kit. And that was the kit with that foundation that I really like. It's that one in a compact. It's not quite like the cushion foundations, but it's in a compact like that. It does have that mesh uh, with that kit. And you did get an eyeliner in there. And that this one here is her uh, Evercolor Gel Waterproof Liner. Oh. I, the more like the more I use this it's like oh my god now it is one that twists up okay it is one that twists up and it just glides on like look how dark that is it glides on so effortlessly it just glides right on and these are so much better than her other ones that came in a twist up now I loved I've always loved her pencil ones, but I did struggle sometimes with these ones here that she had that you twisted up. The pencil ones I've always had no problem with. These ones sometimes I would struggle with, and these ones were her Evercolor Automatic uh, Waterproof Eyeliners. I mean, they weren't really bad. It's just sometimes I had struggled with them. And I'm going to put that on, which I'm not sure what, not sure what shade this one is. This one's in black cherry, you know, but there it is there. That's in black cherry. And you can already see the difference in the darkness of the other one. But the other one is gel. It does say gel on there. And I think there's so much more better than these ones, This the newer ones. And I do believe she has, I think I see it on QVC where she had like a three pack. I have had an easy time like working uh, to just, you know, like right up on the, uh, lid area it just glides so so smooth I, I and then it's great for in the tight line area you know when you go up and through here and tight do a tight line okay foundation and uh, concealer they just they've been working really good for me is the superstay better skin for Maybelline here's the foundation here my shade is where is my shade Classic Ivory. I got mine in number 20, Classic Ivory, and that is what I have on today, and it is a really good full coverage foundation. I don't find it's matte, but I don't find it to make your skin look real dewy. I find it's like 
like a satin matte maybe or kind of gives you a satin finish and then the concealer I think if I dare to say I might even say that this is probably my favorite concealer from Maybelline I like the fit me really well and I've always really loved the fit me but whenever I use this one each time I use it it's like it reminds me why this one I might like even just a little bit more like it gives a more heavy duty coverage for under the eyes so those are the two products I am wearing today and I've been wearing uh, last couple of times. So I have been working through some of my palettes, but in between I've been using some just random items because like I was going through some of my products and I was like, oh, I haven't used that for a while because I, I try to rotate every once in a while, like look through my uh, makeup and be like, okay, I haven't used that for a while. On my eyes today, um, I actually, well, I used the Hoola bronzer from Benefit to kind of uh, work as a transition shade first. That's kind of what I used for transition shade, but I've been pulling out two motives uh, eyeshadows that I have here. Uh, one's in the shade called Vanilla. I'm not sure if you can see it. It'll be down here. It should say Vanilla, and it's a really great shade to, you know, just put all over for on as a base, kind of a setting, nice matte shade. So I've been using that. And then I have this shade just a little bit on the um, outer uh, corners right here, like on the outer corner edge area. And this shade is in Lua. I think that's how you say it, Lua. Again, it's down here. Um, looks of a uh, old... Uh, old bronze, like, you know, uh, what do you call that? Old bronze? Is that what I want to say? I don't know. Uh, there it is there. And it does remind me more of a little bit of the shimmer, you know, like a shimmer kind of a shade. But, and then this one here I have on my lid because I was looking to see if I had it because I was seeing other people showing they did some looks with this. And it's one of the infallibles and it's the Eternal, Eternal Sunshine. Should be right up there. And it says beautiful, I'm into like gold, gold lately, like this color gold even. And that is what's on my uh, eyelid, like right up and through here on the eyelid. Like it's almost halfway through and then the Lua uh, comes in halfway through there. But oh my goodness, these are just amazing. I mean, seriously, I love these. And there it is right there. That's kind of the color I've been into lately. So crazy into... A beautiful gold like that so there it is there and lastly the lip color that I have on right now it looks like a bit deep berry shade anyway but it is from the covergirl lip perfections this is their original casing that they had they have them in different casing now and I know they have some of the same shades but they named them different so I'm not sure what the name is going to be now in their new collection. This one was in uh, 310 Smitten. It is here. It's a really pretty nice berry, like I said, shade. There it is. It's like a really deep berry, like purple, almost in the purple family a little bit. It is a really pretty shade. I just wanted to take this time because, um, of course, in America here, we're going to be celebrating our Thanksgiving uh, feast on well, it'll be tomorrow because by the time this video is up, it'll be tomorrow. So I just want to take this time to wish each and every single one of you a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have such a wonderful time with your friends, your family. I think sometimes myself, I neglect on the things that I should be thankful for. And there's a lot of things that I should be thankful for, um, especially like, you know, having a roof over my head and um, being blessed with a couple kids and a granddaughter. Um, having a, you know, a very good supportive husband and, you know, my mom and my brother are, are here with me and doing well, even though they do get a lot of health issues, they're here with me too. I think there's just so much more that like I should be thankful for than what I even think about. You know, a lot of times I'll think about some of the things that, you know, are troubling uh, that's maybe happening in my life and instead of looking at what I should be thankful for. So I do have a lot to be thankful for. I really do. And I am very thankful for a lot of you guys out there that do come and join me each week.
have me as part of your day, like that you take the time to actually sit and watch my videos. So with that being said, please don't forget to go ahead and check out uh, Stephanie's video down below. I am so appreciative that she did come and join me and felt very honored that she decided to join me. So please go check her video out. I'll have that link down below. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share me around if you liked the video. And um, if you are not subscribed to my channel or you came from Stephanie's channel, welcome. And I'm so glad that you did come and join me and I hope you stick around. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. As always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.